All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. We have got an awesome adventure for you today. Come hang out with us and let's do it. All right guys, so we're here at Folly Beach and we're at the boat docking, landing piers, whatever you wanna call it. We're getting ready to take you all on a kayaking adventure from here to Morris Island. The same place that you guys seen us go in the last video by boat, we're gonna take a kayak out there. We're gonna be fishing, we're gonna be fossil hunting, we're gonna be doing lots of things, hopefully, if we can make it out there. We woke up late this morning. We were supposed to go out with the tide now, and, that was, and low tide was at 8.30. It's now 8.53 and I think the tide's coming back in. So we may have to paddle against the tide. We hope we don't have to, but if we do, it may be a very long trek and we may not make it. But we're gonna see what kind of adventures in store. So see if we make it to Folly Beach or not and see what we catch with our shark pole. Let's show you the gear. So here's our gear. We bought a shark pole. We got our licenses. We've got our bait and we got our tackle box full of stuff and all the other stuff. So let's get this kayak on the kayak ramp get it out into the water and let's go do some fishing and kayaking and have some fun by the way we're headed that way a very long way it's a 15 minute boat ride and we got to do it in the kayak so probably be a couple hours
Lena one thing though. This kayak could use a cushion. At the bottom. My tailbone is hurt. Big fish just jumped here by us.
juga boleh. All right, guys, we're here. I'm sorry for the bad footage looking. Um, phone got a little wet. We're all right, though. 
kind of nasty out there, but we went across that. Uh, Could have got hurt. Let me show you. We went across right in there where all these waters are meeting. Very turbulent. Didn't know it until we got out in it. It's too turbulent to do anything about it, so we had to just paddle our butts off and come straight across. We should have went down here. We should have went. And so when we leave, we're going to come down here and put in, go across, and then follow that side all the way back. That's how we'll do it. Yeah, we're here. Let's go see what we can find at the lighthouse. All right, guys, got our first shark's tooth right there. Let's go see it. First one of the day, a piece of driftwood, maybe another shark tooth right there. I don't think it is, but it might be. This right here definitely is. So let's keep on looking, see if we can find some more. We might, we might, we might before the tide gets up too high. Got a huge one, y'all. Check that big rascal out. Hot day in the morning. We in them now, baby. We in them now. Look at that golly day. All right, y'all, we found a few things. Not a lot to write home about just yet. The tide, we got a late start and the tide's coming in and we should have been here at low tide. Oh, hey, hey, here's a good find. That's a great find right there. That's a great find, yes, sir. Good one, good one, good one. I'll take that all day long, but uh, anyhow, we got a late start and it's the tide's coming in pretty fast, so we're going to head back to the beach here and figure out what we're going to do from there. But if there's any more good finds along the way, back to the beach, we'll definitely show you. This is just, uh, it's really in a beach over here, it's just. I mean, I guess it is, but it's not the main beach where everybody's at, where our kayak is at, and all that good stuff, but anyhow, it's a good find. It was good with the shark teeth that we had found. We found a tremendous amount. I think we found three that I can confirm were shark teeth, and then maybe a one or two more. Another good find. Sorry about the fuzziness on the camera lens. Hang on, let me see. Sorry, it doesn't look so good, but got another good one there. Let's keep on trekking. All right, guys, so we're gonna get this loaded up, get this turned in and get out of here. Let me show you. This right here is the little doodad that you use to carry it on. And you prop it up down here put this up with these two little things in the butt end of it and pull it back so that's what we're gonna do so let's get it done and get out of here all you gotta do is tip it up on its side like this right here so Grab these right here, stick them in right there. Let me see here. It must be easier said than done, huh? Let me see, maybe it's like this. Okay, flip it back up here like this. And tow it back. Pretty simple. Anyhow, sorry we didn't get to do more. It took us four hours to get out there, two hours to get back. Had intentions of fishing and stuff like that. We ain't gonna get to do that. We gotta get out of here. We gotta get back to the house. So guys, uh, appreciate you guys watching. And as always, we'll see you next time right here in the Hollers and Hills of West Virginia. Stick around to see a picture of all the things we found on the beach. See y'all. All right, y'all. So. These are baby turtle shells. All these chunks here are like baby sea turtles. And then the 
this stuff here. Some of this is shark poo. Copper light or whatever. What it's called. Stuff like this, best I can tell, this right here is either driftwood or fossilized driftwood or it is um, uh, woolly mammoth tusk. That piece, this piece right here, which there was one piece I had you could see through the end of it. Where is that piece at? That's not it there. Uh, here's another piece of wood or something. I don't really know. This right here is for sure woolly mammoth. I got that verified. That's woolly mammoth tusk. Listen, this took like it's crazy sounding. Anyhow, it sounds a lot. Hear how that sounds compared to. That's a big difference. That's woolly mammoth tusk for sure. So that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. You guys can see the grains in it maybe. I don't know if you can or not. But anyhow. There's that. This is either driftwood or some kind of fossilized something. I think more shark poo. These right here, I can't figure out what these are. I think they're vertebrae of some sort. I'm not sure. Can't really verify it. Uh, not everything's here. This is just what I had in the bag that we had left. Anyways, pieces of shells, big shells, big shells, nice whole shells here, whole shell there. This one's really pretty, very thin, but real pretty. Uh, another whole shell there. These two I found at the beach right there, so you guys can see. We found these. Uh, I just did see these little things sticking up, and I pulled that whole thing out. So that's pretty cool. Same kind of deal with you know, that one. The was kind of laying there. All the rest of these are kind of busted or broke in some way, shape, or form. Except for these ones over here. This is a nice one. Broke. That's all right. This is nice. Real pretty one right here, but it's busted. I hate when the real pretty ones get busted like that. Another nice one, but it was broke. A couple other nice ones here, but they're, they're not broke. They're, they're nice. So... Then we got uh, got these sand dollars here. I had four and a half or five, I thought. Gave one to mom. These are the ones that we got left. So, anyhow, guys, that's what all we found. Uh, again, we had some, we had a few shark teeth that we found on the beach. You guys have seen them already. They're inside another bag. But just wanted to show you this and wrap the video up. See y'all. Don't forget to smash that like button. That notification bell. Good job. Here you go. Thank you. Don't get the share. Don't forget to share. Yep. There you go. Good job. And, and subscribe. subscribe.